Okay, the African Traditional Marriage TV is live here in Etoile de Moussouri, Kore Pede, Akwaibom State. We are here to witness the joining together of Franca and Sika traditionally. It is a beautiful day, it is a wonderful day here in Ikore Pene, and we are going to be featuring a lot of things. We are going to be having important personnel on the red carpet, where we are going to be asking them questions, important questions like, why is this so important for us to have traditional marriage in Africa? And also, we'll be going into the kitchen, we'll be checking out the kind of food that is being prepared and why is it prepared? Why is it necessary for such food, delicacies, to be prepared on a traditional marriage? I am Dorothy Fadi Akpan and, I, and I'll be your host for today. Stay tuned as we roll. Let's go. Okay, we are here at the powerhouse, that's the kitchen. We are going to be showing you different kinds of food that are being made here. And we have a beautiful woman that is standing right beside me, which I'm going to be asking her some questions. I've seen some different things here, which I don't even know the name, but we are going to ask her in a dialect. And I'll come back and explain to you later. Let's go. Mommy. Yes, so we are married. Mommy, what are you doing? Mrs. Messi is not here. Mrs. Messi is not here. Mommy, I'm going to be here about the possible nomi. Mommy, you have a traditional marriage? Yes. Okay, and I think possible nomi is for traditional marriage. Yes, I'm here. Okay, Mommy, I'm going to be here. 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 Okay. I'm going to be here. Then go to your manpower. Then Kini and your mom go to kitchen. Come in now. I've been here. Then I've been more here. I'm more than there. Come on, you tell me. Did you have a kitchen? I've been here. I can't remember. Then you go to them. You see them. So I always say when I enter the room, I can anticipate. I can tell you. So for that, I mean, I'm here. I've been here. You see, I didn't have a job. Me. Then I'm the maid. Me. Me tell you, you see, I'm here. I've been here. Ndidi ya wak, ifne atongo poroko, ukom, mukosebo kesi tetem, tena, na ibeje na jit, arokodi de, so iminye nye kemiwa. Then fruits, so de manam, yana ibe mo, ibe mo mo dengne, se nye dem. Okay, mommy, thank you. So mommy, afan mommy, ana teba ke traditional marriage. Yes. Itawa. Tando, idondo traditional de de. Dah ibu ini dah jadi orang jiran. Nah jadi si ibu aku yang duduk membeli ini dem, ada mi. Kianang. Ia kido nang aji ramai ada. Okay, okay. Mami amai nang tutu. Pon pon di dia pon tutu. Rasidi teme fry rice, jero fry. Saya fry pun kau ibu aku kom. Uke uke ini dia sebab ke seye jam ini teme minyak kami bat. Okay, mami thank you very much. Thank you. All right, as you can see, a lot of things has been mentioned. We have plantain. That has been done already. We have maize, we have a um, palm kernel, we have a lot of things here which you have seen. And these are only done in traditional marriage. It is the way the Anam people do their traditional things in their food way. Thank you very much. Like I said before, we are still in the powerhouse. As you can see, we have a lot of people here. Everybody is busy cooking. A lot of different women here. And the preparation for the traditional marriage of Franca and Nsi is in progress. So I have a woman here that will be asking her some question about a, a delicacy that I've just seen here. Mommy? Yes. Mm, I'm ready. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm ready. 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 I'm
Mommy, <laughs> Okay, from what she has said, she's trying to tell us that all this food are being made in traditional marriage so that when the daughter that's Franca goes to the home she'll be able to prepare all of this to this to the husband. Thank you and stay tuned. We'll be back. The groom of today? Yes, I'm in the of today. How do you feel about today? So excited, super yeah. excited. Very happy. Very, very happy, super. Okay, so the lady you're trying to walk down the aisle with today, how did you meet her? Just tell us a little. Yes, I met her in my church. Your church? Yes. Okay. Yes, she's a very active member. So, so committed, committed, gave commitment to whatever that is. Okay. So that is how I meet. Okay. So attracted to me from that sense. All right. So what made you to take this bold step, this bold decision that you've made today? Good, 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 good. Because I'm a man. And you know this thing is good from youth. Okay. As a youth, you need to plan ahead. Okay. So that is the reason I took the first step. I need to plan ahead. Okay. Also to look responsible. Okay. So you've witnessed some traditional marriage. Maybe you attended some traditional marriage and you see how they do things and today is your day. What do you think of the traditional marriage in Africa? All right, what well, it's not it's not far from how traditional marriage based on the religious okay and tradition okay so here in Apaiden and here in Anau is Anau land so the tradition is the same okay and that's why you're dressed yes I'm from Bibo so this is the dress yes. okay okay wow um, so, as a parawa of Ibibio no yes. parawa Ibibio M A R okay. so I need to dress like this wow you're looking good thank you very much okay so what do you wish those that are still single like your friends you have some friends that are still single right yes, what, what's your advice to them my wishes to them is for them to plan a it and okay. plan on time okay so efficient time save nine okay so i plan and i took the first step today here i am they should not wait until they have millions of naira in their accounts before they take their birthday. Okay. With the little they have, because even the Bible says, he who finds a wife finds a good thing and obtain favor. I found a wife in the girl that I wanted to marry, so I push on, and today I obtain favor from God. Yes. So I wish them they should take the birthday. That's because you plan. Yes. Okay, so to your friends, your families, and well wishers that have come here to witness your day, what do you say to them? Okay, I tell them thank you very much. Yes. I've done well. Marvelous. Yes. So, my presence to them. I appreciate them. 
So I'm super excited they are here. Because if not they are here, ah, I will not be alone here. So they are here. I found them. I said, I said them, thank you. And thank you. Okay, the groom of the day say thank you to families and friends and everybody that have come to wish him well today. Thank you very much. It was really nice having you. Thank you very much. All right. Okay, we are the main traditional thing, the main traditional rice. As you can see, the food are being set on the table to be introduced. And each of the container contains different delicacy of Africa. You're going to be seeing you're going to be seeing a lot of rice. You're going to be seeing a lot of traditional things that have been set on the table. I will be looking at it one after the other. And a woman is going to be introducing it, which I will bring out on stage very soon. Thank you.
Life here in Ipare Kwene, Akwai Bom State, and I have two two daddies here with me. What's your name? Obong Elder Samuel Bojepi. Okay, sir. What's your name? Aparawa Anefio Isan. Okay, sir. Please, I will be asking you some few questions about traditional marriage in Africa. So, what do you think of traditional marriage in Africa? Uh, traditional marriage in Africa is as old as man. Uh, we cannot do without it. As long as creation is concerned, you cannot do without the traditional marriage. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. sir what do you think of traditional marriage? As the name implies, traditional marriage, it is a tradition okay. which we cannot do without it. And we inherit from our forefathers and our forefathers. Okay. So, why is it so pertinent? Why is it so pertinent, like very important for us to have traditional marriage in Africa? It should, as I said earlier, as old as man, it should. You have to do that first. Uh, for reproduction. That's why it's so pertinent. You cannot do because without doing it now, you will not reproduce yourself. <laughs> okay. Okay, so the couples need to be married in traditional ways. Way, yes, before anything. And the God you will appease the gods. Oh. Mm -hmm. It's to appease the gods. Yes. Wow, I didn't know of this. <laughs> so please what is your opinion? Sure. Uh, my opinion is uh, you can't do without marriage okay. because it is today. That the nation and you yourself will, will know that you have been taken to a home okay. and where you have to reproduce so that your children will not be addressed as bastard. Okay. Is the genesis of a home. Yeah. Thank you very much, sir. Sir, please, what do you wish the couples? Oh, better days, better days, fruitful uh, and uh, long life. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay. Life. Uh? I wish them long life, prosperity, children, even if it comes two, three, God will give us the grace to gather and nurse them. All right. Thank you very much, sir. Thank you. It was nice having you, sir.
Kuwani kuku sama nopo gini Kuwa kau udah ngwani rong memo Saka Aja ne bin tan cap yong Aja ne bin ne bin ne Abin nidut Aku udah kabo assembly song god Kan ada ini Bada aku udah kusia li song Aku udah kabo basia Maha dong kuwa kau kabo nipo isi Kapan aku kabo basia le Komision na Kuwa tewi kore kwenye Permisioner, <laughs> I have one of the best MC here in the Quaibum State. So, sir, you're going to tell them your name. All right, hello, viewers. My name is Comrade Rodwag Nanga, aka MC Calculus. MC Calculus in the building. <laughs> okay, so, sir, you're here to witness the journey of Franca and Zika together traditionally. Okay, so what do you think of African traditional marriage in Africa? Well, um, to me, I prefer that traditional marriage in Africa is the best. Wow. Because wedding is for people outside there in the East. Yes. While traditional marriage is a tradition, as the name implies, tradition. Wow. So I want to believe that uh, traditional marriage is the best. <laughs> oh, okay, okay. So please, yes. what's your wishes for the couple? Uh, I don't have much to say than to wish them the best of luck. Yeah. Wh whatever we wish yourself <laughs> is long life. But when there's life, there's hope. There's hope. Uh, so I want to believe that when they live long, uh, they're going to have a wonderful family. Okay. And what I have to hope to promise them is that if they trust each other, Marriage will be a perfect okay. bond of union. Okay. 
Yeah. Thank you very Thank much, you. sir. I really appreciate it. Right. proper. This is the proper thing and the most important thing in traditional marriage, where the drink is given to the couples to be shared among the uncles, among the elders in the community. This has to be done before they can say that there was a traditional marriage. So as you can see, the drink is being opened by the husband and it is being poured into the cup the wife is holding. This is very important in Anau. This is very important in the African traditional marriage. This is a way of blessing them. The proper traditional marriage rites. The wife has handed over the drink to the husband for him to drink before it is being shared to others. <laughs> African traditional marriage has a unique way of doing things. As you can see, the cup is being shared to every member of the family, the chief, the uncles, and the aunties, and it is being shared around. Sorry. Commissioner for Care and the Husband and Wife of Step. Wow, so I'm so honored to have you here. So please, you came to meet me the joining together of Muslim uh, speaker and Franca. So what do you think of the traditional marriage in Africa? Well, uh, traditional marriage in Africa is one of the traditions that was handed over to us by our forefathers. We are all born to cover witnesses and we will all go through it. I personally went through it and uh, incidentally I also married for the Konoluku government where the groom is from. The bride is my niece. And my, so she is my daughter, so I'm very proud to give her out to go in marriage. So traditional marriage in this part of Africa is a tradition that was handed over to us by our forefathers, and then we will continue to keep it, and then when we just finish, the last event that we just finish, is the traditional handing over of the bride to the groom's uh, family, which is the high point of COVID traditional marriage in this part of the world. Thank you, sir. Sir, please, why is it very important that the Africans go to traditional marriage? Why is it so important? Okay, outside the fact that traditional is our tradition, you know, to always go through uh, traditional marriage, you know, but it is a very important event because it is the one event that both families will come together and then hand over their daughter to the man that wants to marry, uh, to marry her. And then by so doing, both families will now become one. So it's 
a very important, uh, uh, it's a very important event in the tradition of this part of the world. From, from today, the family of Zika in the corner and the family of Dr. Francisca today officially become one. And then someone from here can never hold someone from Zika family. A problem from the young family can never hold someone from here. It's a very sacred relationship that we have initiated today. That people go wish for the couples. But I wish them a very fruitful marriage. I wish them peace in their home. I wish them prosperity. I wish God to bless them with the number of children that they wish to have, which is very important. One more accident. But above all, I wish them God's blessing in their marriage. Thank you, sir. 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 Thank you